And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Kristen Booth is suing Jamie Booth in the amount of $1,000. Ms. Booth claims her sister stole money from their joint account and says the defendant used it to start a nail business in their home without asking. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. May all be seated. Both litigants, Ms. Horner. Thank you. State your name. Kristen Booth. Ma'am? Jamie Booth. All right, and you are suing the defendant for your sister for stealing money from a joint bank account, allegedly? Yes, Your Honor. For $1,000? Yes. Okay. Give me some background on your relationship with your sister. Yes, Your Honor. So... You're the youngest? No, she's the youngest. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm hmm So when Jamie was 16, you I was... You think I'm flirting with you, don't you? No, Your Honor, I'm not. All right. I'm Go just... ahead. I just can't see well. <laughs> I couldn't tell who the young. Go ahead. I appreciate it. But uh, Jamie, when she was 16 and I was 20, we opened up a shared account. Our parents thought it was in our best interest to have a shared account Good. so we can put our savings and like monitor our spending. And we were doing fine with the account, Your Honor. Until How long she... had you all had the account before the incident in question? Uh, we had it for about seven years. Okay, mm -hmm. and no problem, no, no problem. issues, no bounce checks or anything. None of that, Great. Your Honor. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead. Didn't so, mind. she. How was she as a sister, though? Let's talk about that as well. Not just the money part. I'm more mm -hmm. interested in many instances, particularly when they're young people. I'm more interested in their lives. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about her. Of course, she been Jamie. A student all her life. Was she trouble? You tell me. Jamie is. I love Jamie, Your Honor. She's my sister, of course. But did I ask she, you that? Yeah, I, you, no, I didn't ask you that. I said, how has she been? She is a little. Um, how do you I don't put even it? Know. Right, let me I hear from you, young lady. Tell me about yourself. I, I feel up. I'm a very experimental person. I love to exper experiment with things like my hobbies and just trying to figure out the person that I am and what I like. Well, were you a good student? Oh, of course, yeah. A very good student. But up until college, it got a little, I feel I got a little stressed out being in college as I went to college for two years and then I, I stopped going for about a year. Why? Oh, because of the stress? And because of my grades, they started to drop. Why? Because I'd of your say, hobbies? Because of a man? No, I Why? was just not focusing as much on school. What I was more you worried about on? work and making what money. What were you focusing on? On work and making money. And how did that work out for you? Not too good. Mm -mm. Right. So you, you, made the bad, you made the wrong decision. Yeah. What about going back? Well, do you owe loans and therefore you can't go back until you pay your loans off? That's usually the case once you drop out. Um, I did have to pay loans back, but my, my parents had been helping me financially a lot of my life. Mm -hmm. And especially even when we had this account, which is why during the account I didn't, I didn't put much money into that because it was my What parents. are you doing now? I'm, I went back to school. I Good. stopped going for a year, but I went back. And my Good. major at first when I went was psychology. And when I came back, I changed it to business because I wanted to be a therapist, but I figured I'm such a sensitive person. Therapy probably isn't for me, but I'd rather be an entrepreneur. And let's talk about the money now, ma'am. I mm -hmm. know that's your thing. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, that's all you're here for. What? So we, since we're sharing this account, she, when she's going back to school, she asks if she can live with me. I said, that's fine, of course. You know, her school was closer to my house. And I said, hey, if you want to live with me, since we have this shared account, we can use that for household expenses, groceries, and in anything we need within the house. She agreed. I even have a text message just saying that she was fine with that and she mm -hmm. forgot we even had the account. I can show you that if you would like. Okay. So, 
a month into her living with me, we're actually, we're doing great. We're going to movies, having fun, going to brunch, fun things. And I told her I'm going on a work trip for 10 days. Before I leave, I deposit $1,500 into the account. I got an extra bonus. I just wanted the money to be in somewhere safe so I don't have to worry about it. And a couple days later, I get a notification on my phone saying that she withdrew $1,000 from the account. So I immediately call her, hey, like, is there something going on with the house? Like, did a pipe burst? What happened? She tells me that she is renovating my spare room for her personal nail business and she has these clients. Yet she never mentioned this to me before I left and she's using the thousand dollars that I put in to fund her personal business and I didn't think that that was fair. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. So you didn't think that it was necessary to no. ask? No, because I had deposited 1200 in that month, so I contributed. Right. So technically it was my money. 1200 of it? Yes. And later. And so we had long conversations on the telephone, and we even had FaceTime videos. Mom, with a little me for bit a of. I thought she was going to tell me more than we need to know. Well. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1 888 552 6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Kristen Booth, who is suing her sister, Jamie Booth, for a theft. All right, how much was in the account at that time? At the time, it was $3,010. And what was it intended to be used for? Only household expenses, Your Honor. All right. Mm -hmm. And... When you approached her about the 1000 what did she say? She said that since it was a household expense, mm -hmm. and she's using the spare room, that she had the right to take the $1,000 out. But that was for her personal business, Your Honor, not a household issue. Mm -hmm. And how did, did it hurt your uh, account, or did it hurt your living? It didn't, but at the same time, Your Honor, we're using this account for household expenses. I want to leave a good amount of money in there, a cushion, just in case something does happen. Let me, get, we let have... me share a secret, Richie. Mm -hmm. If you let her use that $1,000 to establish a business in the house, which I'm so proud a young lady wanted to do that, mm -hmm. I promise you, not only would you get that thousand back, mm -hmm. and if you helped your little sister who was living with you to grow that business, you would get tens of thousands. How about that? But I, we'll give you a little one thousand back, right? Right. And I'll help you on the other right. end so we can grow that business. Because yeah. I believe in her. From what I've already heard, I want to invest with you. So I don't think I can do that from this point of view as the judge, but I don't know how I might do it but I might want to invest with you oh, and yeah. uh, give her a little thousand back. Uh -huh. And we go into business together. Right, we we'll get, make way more than a thousand. Right, we, we bring our bag right in front of her. Mm -hmm. Got that bag! <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, young lady, so what did happen? Uh, is that what happened? Yeah, I, I took out the thousand, but that month I had to Why didn't you ask, though? That was the mistake. What is the policy on either of you in withdrawing money on this joint account? Do you have to have mutual approval between the two? We yes, never discussed that. We, that was you never had discussed. the account for seven years. It had to be discussed. It, we well, discussed it, Your Honor. In those seven years, mm -hmm. as I said, my, my uh, parents, they were funding me. Okay. So I hadn't really been using that account. It was mainly her using Got it. Got it. So the money, mainly the money put in for about maybe six years was all from her. Okay. Yeah. All right, and so you didn't think that it was necessary to no. ask? No, because I had deposited 1200 in that month, so I contributed. All right. So technically it was my money. 1200 of it? Yes. Yeah, you make a good point there. Yes, Your Honor. Yep, and there were, you don't, you don't have the understanding that you needed her approval. Right. All right, and what did you do? Tell me about your business. What, what is the business and how's it gone? Tell me. It's a nail business and I renovated the room. I, I didn't do anything major. I painted the walls, which if she didn't like it, she could paint back over. That's, that's no harm. So I painted the walls. I added a desk. I added some chairs. I got a, some supplies for myself and my business. And then I added small stick and peel tile to the floor. 
stick and peel. You could peel off. It was nothing major to the room. And Why I didn't you to... take that money and buy you some outfits and go become a stripper? Because this was an investment. Why do you do that? This was an investment. Sis, yeah, would that be all right with you, sis? That would not be all uh, right. No, but that might have been one of the things that a young person of her age would have chose to do. But instead, she chose to get her education. She chose to be innovative. She chose to get equipment to attract strippers to give her money to do their nails. Yes, sir. And that's my point I'm making is that and that's why I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Young people your age, that young ladies, that's not where their head is. Their mm -hmm. head is who has that bag. Exactly. I'm going to the club looking for the bag. And no, I don't take the fifty dollar tips. You can't tip me twenty because you see how cute I am. <laughs> she could have did all of that, oh, but yeah. instead you invested in yourself. Exactly, and I tried to explain that to her. It was an investment in myself, and I'm gonna make that money back. It's a thousand dollars. It's it's not the end of the world. Your Honor, the problem is she said it was a hobby. She didn't think it was more of a career goal. I was fine with helping her. I would have said, hey, if we can sit down, let's come up with a plan. What are the steps that we're going to take to actually make this a successful was business? Was 1200 over hers? She did deposit 1200 the beginning of the month, mm -hmm. Your Honor. And then took 1000 the same month. Mm -hmm. So 200 is still in there of the money she contributed that month. But I also contributed $1,500 mm -hmm. the same week that, that she took that should still be in there, right? It should be. Okay. Well, unless you know any different, all she's done is withdrawn 1000 of what belonged to her. But that also was my money, too, Your no, Honor. No, it wasn't. She deposited 1200 in her ownership. Y'all got a, a joint account, but that doesn't mean joint ownership. I'm sorry. Yeah. What we do know is she took, she put in 1200 took out 1000 Therefore, I'm dismissing your claim, and I'm going to encourage you to continue and I'm proud of you and don't let anybody get in the way of you and your uh -huh. dreams all right thank you good so luck much to you. Your Honor. have a good day all right judge mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant the plaintiff's claim has been dismissed i still need my money back it was never your money to begin it with it was i'm a hard working woman i'll make way more I than that and i'll give you a thousand dollars once yeah, i make okay. all that next I, week I, I want that in writing coming up you know, it's kind of embarrassing. As a man, it's going to be very embarrassing, but, you know, everything didn't work that day. You know what I mean? Manhood thing no, didn't work that day. No, I don't know what day. you mean. I don't, want I don't <laughs> think yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. January Robeson is suing Grant Mowry in the amount of $5,950. Ms. Robeson claims her online date cooked a romantic dinner for her and says it caused a fire, which got worse when the defendant tried to extinguish the flames. State your name? My name is January Robeson. All right. Yours? My name is Grant Mooring. All right, and you are suing the defendant for $5,950, alleging he is responsible for causing a fire to damage your property? Yes, Your Honor. All right, start with you. Give me some background. Okay, um, I'm a single mother of three kids, and I'm a retired bank investor. And uh, my husband of 20 years cheated on me with his secretary. So that was the end of that marriage. So obviously, I want to meet somebody to spend the rest of my life when with. When did you divorce? Uh, about five years ago. Okay. What have you been doing? You say you've wanted to meet someone since then. And... I went on a dating site. Okay. And that's where I met Mr. Mowry. Okay. And we engaged in long distance romance. He lives in Houston. I live in LA. And so we had long conversations on the telephone. And we even had FaceTime videos. Oh, I'm going to little for a bit minute. Of... I thought you was going to tell me more than we need to know. Well, we said, did. And we even, the way your face looked, you lit up like a Christmas tree and say, yeah, and we even had well, FaceTime. Yeah. Okay, all right. Coming up. So he cooks. Well, he takes that little pill, and then the next thing you know, I'm in the living room. And he left a frying pan of grease unattended on my stove. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of January Robeson, who is suing Grant Mowry for property damage. 
Let me get a background from you, sir. That is correct. We met on a dating site, and even the first time I talked to her, she said her love language was gifts. So that's why I started sending her gifts. And the more gifts, I, you know, I sent her, and I sort of realized this red flag. Oh, the more she liked me, the more I'll come out to L.A. and visit me. And so that's what I did. I came out to Los Angeles. She lives in Beverly Hills. Okay, how was that stay? Well, I would say the first three hours were good, and then it went south after that. <laughs> how so? <laughs> so you got well, a three-hour run. How so? What happened? I, well, and, and again, what happened? So I got to her house, and she said, hey, I want to show you my house. And I'm going to be very nice here. She said, hey, I want to go to the bedroom. And I was like, okay, okay. But, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. As a man, it's going to be very embarrassing, but, you know, everything didn't work that day. If you know what I mean, manhood thing. No, I don't know what day. you mean. I don't want to. I don't <laughs> think yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm an older woman, mm -hmm. and I have standards. Some people say that I'm picky, but I have standards, and I do not badmouth a man that cannot come up to my standards. But he and I are not meant for each other at all. Why? So the last night he was there, he insisted on cooking me dinner. So he cooks. Well, he takes that little pill. And then the next thing you know, I'm in the living room. And he left a frying pan of grease unattended on my stove. Guess what happened? Started a fire. And do you know what he did to put it out? He got the lid and a towel, which guess what happened? It ignited it more and it spread to another room. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Sir, let me hear from you on this. So then uh, that is true. I, I took the magic blue pill so I could do what we needed to do. So I was cooking, and I think she really liked that. She came and started kissing on me and telling me some that nice things in my ear, and she took me out to the living room. We were sitting on the couch. And you took getting, us out to getting, the living room. Getting, getting to know each other in an intimate way. And then all of a sudden, I smelled some smoke, and I said, do you have a smoke detector? She's like, no, I don't think so. So I jumped up, ran in the kitchen, and there it was. That grease fire had started, and all those there was a lid and that towel, and just out of reaction, I grabbed the lid, <laughs> And I put the towel, and she Who came into that? the kitchen. Who put the and fire I said, with the towel? Do you have a fire extinguisher? She's like, What's a fire extinguisher? I did not say that. You don't have, you don't need an extinguisher until the fire starts. Mm. Do you think it would have happened had someone not started the fire? Well, a fire has to start by somebody. Right. Yes. And how did it start this time? Uh, by the grease. And, and who was who was dealing with the grease? Well, I was, sir, but she took Thank me you. away. Thank you. $5,950 is your judgment, as he admitted, and therefore, you are the one, you and the grease, had the grease split it with you, since you want to put it on the grease. <laughs> and he's the one that's going, he and the grease are going to pay you $5,950. Have your a honor. good day. Judgment for Thank the plaintiff. All rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $5,950. I'm sorry it came to this. I am a good person, but you did start the fire, so I'm sorry. I'm glad I live in Houston and you live in L.A. Mm This has been a production of Allen Media Group.